Okay, this is the second part. We have engraved the image that we want, the words, inside of this piece of wood. And prior to me engraving it, what I did is I coated it with two coats of shellac. Um, after I sanded it down, there's still a little bit of shellac on here, which is good because well, we're, we're going to need that. So what we want to do now is put inside of here coloring. So I have some acrylic paint. Uh, this is what I use. And for this particular one, the person ordered black paint for everything, except for the drink wine and for the friends. We're going to use that in red. So we'll start off by just using up some of what I got here left, if I have any. I'll just squeeze this all out. And it looks like I'm pretty well out, but there's a little bit left. So what we do is I take this and I work it in to all the areas that is going to be black. And this is really a pain in the butt and it's very messy, but it'll work out pretty good. And you'll see what I mean here. So I'm doing this and I work it in, work it in, work it in, work it in. Okay, and now I got to the point where I've got to do something with that. So I can move it on to the next place that I want to work it and do that. And I've got to hurry up because if I let this go for too long, it's going to dry. It's going to be a mess and I'm not going to be able to get it off very easily. And I'm trying to make this thing as easy as it is as possible for myself so that you can do these things. If you have a silk screen uh, sponge or one of these, which you can just do this with, hey, that's you know good and that's what you're going to want to do it with. But unfortunately, this is pretty well dried out after the years and just doesn't do it anymore. So, okay, so we keep pulling this paint out here and moving on to somewhere else and just keep doing that for a little while. Just We don't want it too thick in there, but we want it to be covering everything that you can, you can do. And I'm just probably going to do just this one little area here. Put a little blurp in there. And let's see how this is going to work. Okay, she wanted this, so I'll do this part as well. Okay, now for the magic part. Uh, we just take, I got a block here of wood, and you round one edge of it. And I start out with using just plain paper towels. So I'll take the paper towel, wrap it here, and then I'll just do one wipe real quick. And that gets a lot of it off. Move the paper towel to the other side. Repeat. Okay, once I get that done once or twice, I'll now take this and start wiping it down just a little bit more. And now use a washing motion. Okay, move on to a new piece. Make sure that they're not too wet. And you can start seeing that it's starting to come up more and more. And And then finally use another piece. So here's what you're going to start seeing. You're going to see the color in there. Now if you rub too hard, you don't want that. This is not going to look good. So just go back in and wherever you rub, stop. <laughs> because you're going to, it's too much already. So. Okay, and I'll just okay. So the idea of the block is once you use the block, it'll skate on top of the surface rather than into these grooves because you don't really want it into the grooves, and that will take off more. I usually wet this down, you know, before I do it. The sharper you do this, the more often you do this, the better it's going to look. Okay, so 
I'm pretty much happy with that. You know, it's not 100%. This is wood. MDF works a little bit differently, but we'll just leave it in there. Now the finishing part of this detail will be, yeah, there's a lot of paint up here, but when you sand it down, you're going to be sanding the surface and whatever's left over will be just the paint in there. So it should look pretty good. So this is how it looks at this stage. It looks like a total mess, and it is, but I've got all of the black in, in here. I screwed up a little bit here. I'm going to have to touch up manually later. I'm not too worried about this one. And all the rest of it is in place. So now I just got to wait for everything to dry up and then I can start sanding it down. Okay, so this is it, how it looks before the final cleanup. I mean, after the final cleanup. Um, sanded down the main body here so that exposed the white oak that's underneath here and uh, I could have them do their own painting but you know a little bit of touch up oak has some interesting properties especially when you're using latex I mean um, uh, this acrylic stuff it absorbs it and dulls it so you Sometimes have to go over some areas here to make it look better. But, you know, overall, the customer wanted black, and uh, I did put black uh, down. I'm not sure that that's the uh, right color to have here. I'm looking at it, and, you know, a lighter color might be good. I had blue on mine, but that was MDF. MDF has some absorbent characteristics, so it really absorbs it into the wood. So this looks pretty good, and I think it'll gloss up really good when you put your final coating on. I'm not sure what, what they want me to put on yet. So I'm just touching up some areas here. This is very time consuming, but you know, I'm probably doing a final sanding after this dries up tomorrow, and then they can go with it. It's a little artsy piece, so you know, artsy means you got some boogies, some little problems in there here and there. But to me, I just got the red to work on yet, and uh, this is what I've got right here. So, yeah, this will clean up really nice. That's just some paint, and uh, all the rest of it is relatively minor. I'm gonna leave it alone, probably touch up the red a little bit more, uh, and this is what I've got right now. Okay, so next step is a very light sanding, not much, and then we put some type of coating on here, and then I'm going to trim it down on the saw. Maybe put a round, uh, a round edge on it too. That would look a little bit better too, instead of a sharp edge. <laughs> 